Hi everybody, this is Connie. I have got a, um, I was going to call it a swap mail, but it's not because I paid for them. It's off of a um, makeup group that has got lightly used uh, or new make makeup items that they want to sell. And I bought these. Um, I've got two. If it takes too long to do the first one, I will do this in two installments. But the first one is from a girl named Ashley, and it came in a package like this. I'm not going to show you the other side because it's got her address and stuff on it. Um, nice padded envelope. Um, there's a lot of lipsticks here, and I got these all for $10, and it cost her $6 to mail them. So essentially, she sold them for, she made a $4 profit, and she didn't even make a profit because there's, Let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17, 18 lipsticks here. So, as you guys know, I'm a lipstick-aholic. If somebody's selling lipsticks and there's one in there that I like, I'll buy them. You know? Um, I don't know that I'm going to keep all of these, but some of them I really like. So, some of them I will probably be passing on. So, let's get started. And there were a couple that were broken. So... I won't be using those. So let's just get started. First things first was a baby lips. And I'm not even going to swatch that one because it's just the pink baby lips. Um, I have not sanitized any of this stuff yet. And I will do that because I don't know if she did before she sold them to me. So I will be doing that. Um, anyway, the first item was a baby lips. Second thing is... Uh, it's in the color SR06. It is a NYX Simply Red. And this one is one of them that came. Um, it is broken, but I've got it all the way down. I'm going to swatch it here. Yeah, it's broken pretty good. And that's the color there. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's broken in here as you can see. I don't know if you can tell it moves real easy in there So I don't know if I'll you know, I've got so many lipsticks. I don't know if I'll keep this one All right, the next one I'm just gonna pick them up randomly um, Some of this stuff is too nude for me. Some of it's good This one here is in a matte 001 nude attitude by Revlon comes in a package like this this is what it looks like. And like I said, I have not tried any of these on my lips yet. And I will probably sanitize them, try them on, and if I don't care for them, I will pass them on. Yeah, this one here is probably too nude for me. Okay. Next one is Pop Beauty. And, you know, I think... I had one of these before and I think I got rid of it because it's a little sticky. I can't remember for sure, but I will definitely try it anyway. And it is, let's see here, shut that back up, see if it tells me. It's in Peony Petal, which is absolutely beautiful color. That's why I'm really kind of excited to try it. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous and look how opaque that is. And that's what it looks like. And they, they come in the neatest bottles, because this is kind of that rubberized feeling type. I don't know what you call that. Um, but I like those. And then there's an All May. This is just in the color 200. And it is a pretty much a sheer um, wash of color, I believe. I mean, I don't think that there's any color in this at all. They're really, I mean, it is so sheer that I know you won't be able to see it. And I can tell you already it's sticky. But like I said, I'm going to keep trying. That's what that one looks like. This one here is a matte lipstick by NYX. And it is in MLS 26. Does it say a color? Nope, just the MLS 26. And this one might be a little nude for me also. It kind of looks like the other one. Um, there's a tiny touch of more pink in this one. Um, yeah, I think those. I don't think those are going to work for me at all. 
Okay, the next one is just a, um, this one is a Too Faced Lip, Lip Injection Extreme Plumping Lip Gloss. And I don't know if I'll use this or not. I might pass this one on. So I'm not even going to swatch that one. Um, I don't know if it's been used. Um, see, the thing is, I don't... I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. Um, these kind of things with the doe foot applicators. If they've been used, can you reuse them? Can you give them to somebody else? Tell me, tell me about that, will ya? Because I don't know. This is really a pretty shimmery pink. This is also, this is a Mega Shine Lip Gloss by, by NYX. And I didn't even think of that when I bought them. Here's another All May. This one here is a seven color 700. And that one looks more like that. And this one's kind of a orangey. I know I won't like this. Because I don't like orange at all. Whoops. Can you see that? I do not like orange whatsoever. So... I'm going to wash my hand off here. Ooh, that first red really is smears. I do not, the more I think about that, the more I, I think I'm not going to keep that one. You know, why keep it if it's broken and I've got so darn many lipsticks? Why keep it if I don't like it? And I don't know why even opted in on this stuff because there's so many of them that I'm not going to wear. The next batch I like a lot. Okay, now this one here I probably won't wait, keep either. And this is Palm Stain Revlon Color Burst. Is Palm Stain the name of it? 035. And see... Yeah, it's just another another nude. And this is really sheer that you can't even see the darn stuff. So, Okay, this one here I might like. Um, this is called Stella, and this is also a NYX. This one looks like it's been well-loved. Ooh, it's pretty bright. I didn't think it was going to be quite that bright. Pretty, though. I might keep that one. Here's another. This is a Revlon Color Suede Liquid Lipstick. And I am not going to swatch this because I know how hard they are to get off. But this is a beautiful red. And I will keep this one. I do not have this color. It's gorgeous. This one here I'm not going to keep either. Black. <laughs> so those of you that like this kind of stuff, go for it. Here's another All May. This is 950, this color. And I don't mind this color. But is it safe to, for me to use these? You tell me. That's what that looks like. Which I don't know if I'm crazy about it anyway because it's brown. Here's another uh, Revlon color stain. This is a gorgeous, pretty pink. Pink, kind of a pinky mauve, kind of. So I'm not going to swatch that one either. This one here is such a beautiful color. I don't know that I'd feel comfortable wearing this. Because it's super, super pink. Super pink. <laughs> Anybody interested in any of these? Let me know. Here's the one that was broken so bad. I just wanted to keep it to show you. It's really broken badly. That one's going right in the garbage. And then here's another NYX. Um, this is a lip gloss. These lip glosses, um, I'm not a lip gloss person anyway, so I probably won't be keeping those. We might as well keep going. Now the one that I was really, you know... I don't know. 
to me, I don't even know if those are worth four dollars. <laughs> To tell you the honest truth, after I got them and after looking at them and, and swatching them and stuff, I, I'm i not going to keep three-fourths of them. So, that's I'm just very impulsive and I saw the lipsticks and I saw a couple that I thought were pretty. And those were the Revlon Colorstay ones, these here. I saw those. And so, that's why I got them and now I'm second-guessing myself on that. Anyway, the next one that I got, I'm not going to show you that side, is in this kind of priority box. And I'm happy with, with almost all of these. There's a couple that I'm not going to keep, but not very many. Okay, the first thing, I'm just going to pick them up at random. The first thing is an Urban Decay. And this is Matte Stark Naked Lipstick. And that's... I'm sure I'm going to like this one because it's almost kind of like Naked by Rimmel or that uh, Milani. Isn't that pretty? And it just, oh, th when it went on my hand, it just feels so smooth. It's They're in kind of a cool package, too. Um, you can't really probably see that, but it's, it's um, I don't know. But it says Urban Decay right there, if you can see that. All right, I'm going to put those over here. Now, this is the one I know that I'm not keeping. And this is a NYX Liquid Suede. I was kind of sad about this because I really wanted to try their Liquid Suede, but look how orange that is. There's no way that I'm going to use that. So I will be passing that one on for swap, probably. And same thing with this one here. And this one is a Maybelline Color Blur. Color blur. It's the one that's got the lipstick on this side and then the... the deal on this side where you can um, kind of blur it out but this is very orange too and I do not like orange so that one's going too um, let's see here here's a NYX soft matte lip cream in SMLC04 <sighs> that's all it says London so maybe London is the name of it And that one there is really kind of a nudie brown. So I, I don't know. I'm going to have to try it on. See if I like it. You guys, any of you guys have any of these? Let me know if you like them or not. Okay, this one is an Ulta. And it is, I by the way, um, this one cost me $20. Okay, this one. Two fifty-five is all it says. Ulta, oh, flushed pink. And this one's really a pretty nude. That one's really a pretty nude. I like that. So I know that I'm going to like that one. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to get to the ones that are not in boxes. Because I'll do those last. Um... And I don't know if I'm going to keep these um, color blur things because I think they're kind of weird. Um, this one here is very red. It's very pretty. Let's try to blur it out here. Oh, it goes on like a dream. Okay, that's what it looks like. Okay, let's blur that out. Just kind of smears it, is all. Just smears it around, is all. This is kind of a rubberized. I, I really kind of thought it was like foam type, but it's more rubber, is what it is. Um, I don't think I like those. I'm going to clean my hand up here, get to the rest of them. I could switch hands, but I'm just going to clean my hand up here quick. So, this week at work, I get transferred. Um, I'm Not yet. I'm not transferred yet. But um, this week, I'll be moving. Um, right now, I'm in, I'm in, I'm at, I work for a plant that makes dog food and cat food. Um, wet dog food and cat food. Um, 
and I bet I had my own office in the plant. I'm a production clerk where I order all the meat, all the cans, all the lids, that kind of stuff. Um, plus, I do can counts during the day to make sure that the cans are adding up and the, how much they're how much they're producing during the day, that kind of thing. And I had my own office, or actually, I shared an office with the night manager. Um, I worked days, he worked nights, and they came and told me today and. I, I had a boss, a su supervisor that was very tough. Um, he would he actually got kind of mean at times. Um, never really terrible terrible to me because I just kind of brushed it off. But some people um, had a tough time with him. Anyway, he came and gave um, had a meeting with me and my the guy next door to me, um, kind of the one right below him um, about that I was being transferred to the warehouse. I'll have my own office there. It'll be strictly my office. They wanted all of the purchasing people together with the people that schedule. And the person that does the scheduling is going to be my new boss. And he's a very nice guy, as far as I can tell. I've never had him as a boss, so I don't know. But coming this week, I'll be moving all of my stuff to a new office so I haven't even seen the warehouse yet so I don't know if it's gonna if it's noisy I know there's an office area where um, one of the other girls in the office office for the main plant got transferred there already she does purchasing um, she purchases all the the um, fresh goods and the um, dry products and so my my job will be expanding so that's a good thing um, I don't know. I think I I think it's going to be a good thing. I'll let you guys know. This is now this is lip gloss. So I don't know if I'm going to keep it. Like I said, it depends. This is Palladio 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 Herbal Lip Gloss. And this is beautiful. I mean, it's got um it's red with little sparkles in it. This is what it Very pretty. I don't know if you can see those sparkles or not. Okay, so let's... Wow. And it feels like a gloss, so I don't know. It depends on if it's sticky or not, because if it's sticky, I will not wear it. That's what it looks like. Very pretty. Very pretty. Okay, and this one here um, is beautiful. This is NYX... XLC05, I think. Extreme Lip Cream. I don't see a name on there other than that, but it's really pretty. Really pretty color. I think I'm going to like this one a lot. Oh, that's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. That is That is kind of me in a bottle right there. That is so pretty. Okay, now this one here hasn't even been opened, but it's really gross. So, um, this one is a sheer color, soft shine. It's a CoverGirl Lip Perfection. Might as well go ahead and open it, huh? I don't know why it's so gross and why she would send it to me when it's so gross, to tell you the honest truth, but... Get my tweezers here to get a hold of it. I would uh, use my teeth, but this is pretty gross. Okay, come on here. I I paused my. Uh, I'm watching a marathon of Grey's Anatomy. I just started. I mean, I've watched it every year. I did not watch it last year. I was waiting on. Since I got Netflix, I've been kind of stalling on some of that stuff um, but I started from the very beginning so I'm still on the first season um, about maybe episode six or something um, where Christine and uh, what's his name have just slept together and Meredith and Derek are dating Oh, 
Come on. Sorry, guys. Takes me so long to open stuff, but I want to get this gross packaging off of here. I just, ugh. Come on. God, it just won't tear at all. It's just tearing in little tiny strips. The, um, where it's supposed to tear, won't even tear there. That's why I wonder where this was that it's so gross. See, I would never, I, I just, I, I would never have sent this to somebody when it looked like this, to tell you the honest truth. But I'm so happy with everything else that this is the only thing that was yucky out of the whole thing. Ugh. Almost done. Here we go. Come on. There we go. Got it. So sorry. So this is what it looks like after all of that. Very sheer. So even though it's red, I can still wear it to work. Very sheer. I kind of like these ones. Um, okay, I already looked at that one. Okay, we're to the boxes. This one is a Laura Geller. I am so excited to get a Laura Geller product. Luscious Lips Liquid Lipstick and Peach Buttercream. Not a huge peach person, but it's Laura Geller. Come on now. And it's very pretty. It is really just kind of almost highlight type. Looks like one of her highlights, actually. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to wipe this stuff off here quick. Top of my hand starting to look a little pink. All right, the next one is a Too Faced La Creme Color or La Creme. Uh, color drenched lip cream in naughty nude. Come on. It's so naughty it doesn't want to come out of there. And isn't that gorgeous? Isn't that pretty? This is very pretty. I'm sure I will wear this one. So I do believe that I have far surpassed, this one has far surpassed paid for that one. <laughs> for the one that I'm not real thrilled about. And this is Lorac Lip Lux. Another pretty packaging. In... Bordeaux. And this one is so pretty. So pretty. I love it. Oh my god. And you can just tell they're high-end lipsticks. You know, there's so many drugstore lipsticks that I absolutely love. But you can you can tell a high-end lipstick. Um you know, they're just they just feel more luxurious, I guess you'd say. Okay, so this one here I don't know about. This one is a Stila Stay All Day Vinyl Lip Gloss in Merlot Vinyl. Very pretty. And look at all oh, purple. I mean, it doesn't do it justice. I mean, look at that. It looks different, doesn't it? I knew when it was when it said Merlot, it was going to be purple. And I don't normally wear purple lipsticks, but I'm going to give this one a try. If I don't like it, I will pass it on. See, look at the difference. It, that does not look the same. 
Now this here I actually like better than the purple. But, you know. Okay, last lipstick is Marvelous Moxie by Bare Minerals. And this is Live Large. And I'm tickled to death. Oh, and just look at this packaging. Just look at that packaging. And I think you, um, let's see here. How do you open this? Oh, oh, you pull down on it. Duh. Oh, this is my color right here. Right there, that is me in a lipstick tube right there. Then it just pops. Did you hear that pop? Okay, and the last thing is an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. Which I don't use lip pencils very often, so I'm going to have to see about this. Maybe I'm going to have to start. This here will go with the Merlot, I think. Or something. Oh my gosh, it's just so creamy. Pretty, pretty really pretty. Well guys that is my $30 lipstick haul I guess you'd say. Um, you know I paid $10 for this, $20 for this one. This one hands down the $20 one was so far worth it. It paid for it and this one that I'm not so crazy about. There's a couple in there like I said that I will keep. Um, today I'm going to go through and what I like, I'm going to keep, and what I don't, I'm going to put on the swap page, I think. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like me doing these kind of things, uh, now see, I would have done a lip deal for you today, but I'm not. The whole reason I don't do those is I suck at editing. I don't know. I use um, Windows Movie Maker. And to tell you the honest truth, I don't know how to get it so it pops up on the screen. I don't know if you can with that, you know, like some people just pop it up, you know, here's a picture here, here I am here, and then here's a picture of the lipstick um, on my lips right here. I don't know how to do that. If anybody does with um, Windows Movie Maker um, or knows of a tutorial for Windows Movie Maker that, that lets me do that kind of stuff, please let me know. Anyway, if you like this kind of thing, or if you have suggestions on how you'd rather me do it, please let me know and give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.